What interests you about this story project? Uh, dialogue's great. Uh, the sides that I got is obviously the climax of the film, and um, it, it sounds like it's um, building up to a great story, so that um, attracted me. In what ways do you personally connect with the character? <laughs> Uh, sarcastic, dark, uh, and a sense of humor. I see this guy like not just being ominous and threatening, but uh, kind of a funny guy. Describe your most enjoyable experience working with a director. Oh man. Um, ironically, it was something that I only had one word in the dialogue, but um, it was a short-lived TV show that I loved called Miracles, starring Skeet Ulrich, and Matt Reeves was the creator, writer, and uh, the director on the pilot, if I'm not mistaken. And he went on also to um, write uh, the Mothman prophecies. And uh, also just saw recently, oh, oh the, um, the uh, sequel to Cloverfield with John Goodman. That was executive produced by Matt Reeves. So I would say the person that I enjoyed the most working with um, on that short shoot was Matt. <laughs> Tell us your experience with weapons or guns. Well, I grew up in the deep south, so uh, I grew up around guns, used to go shooting uh, out in the woods and at gun ranges with my older brother with a 38 police special, and then I had a semi-automatic shotgun, was like one of the first weapons I owned that I loved and got rid of at a pawn shop when I was a starving actor years ago. Uh, I've also had um, mostly revolvers, and currently I own uh, a revolver and uh, a coach gun, a double-barreled uh, shotgun like you see in the stagecoach movies. Uh, I take that to the gun range and out in the desert sometimes. I, I love that gun. So, And uh, one of the first gigs that I booked as an actor was on Miami Vice shooting a semi-automatic at a helicopter. So I guess pretty good experience with them. If cast, would we need to provide air for our lodging or are you able to work as a local hire? Uh, just Give me a round trip ticket. When I get there, I'll just go to a bar and find somebody to stay with. Don't touch your weapon, Jimmy. Robbie, I was on my way to you. Well, somebody call 911. Thought we'd get it here, Groundhog, but look at this prize. I had my eye on this bad boy. Whoa, you're gonna hit me, moron! Robbie's dead. He shot Robbie. So, why is that a good reason to shoot me? Use your sights and stop shooting that thing from the hip. Ah! Oh. oh, come on, it's just a graze. That's more than a graze, man. Uh, you'll be all right. What do you think that do to their chances of survival? They'll all bleed out? Oh, it's not a bad way to go. <laughs> no. There are good ways to die and there are bad ways to die. <laughs> you, I promise you, are not going to die good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have mercy on me, God, I'm sorry. On the count of three. Ah, oh, he's finding religion with his neck in a noose. So meaningful. Oh, touching.